So it's a few days before Christmas. I'm exhausted. That's why I'm wearing the sunglasses. I literally cannot even show you the bags under my eyes right now. Just got back from driving an hour to my parents' house from my grandmother's. And also, I just came back from taking my grandmother on like a two-hour shopping spree to ShopRite to get all of her stuff to cook for Christmas Eve, which she makes some banging food, so I'm super excited about that. But I just got into two yelling matches at the ShopRite. Happy holiday season. Everyone's pleasant per usual. And like a full-on screaming match with like a woman in the parking lot. Because in my defense, she's speeding through a ShopRite parking lot, texting on her phone. So I turned to her and I mouthed some expletives at her and told her to slow the down. She slams on the brakes and she's like, rah, 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 like scream, first of all, screaming through the window. That's how you knew she didn't mean business because she didn't, she didn't roll down the window and start yelling. She likes, and I, so I, me being me, I yelled a few expletives at her in the middle of the parking lot and then told her to slow down, you bitch. <laughs> and, and that was that. And I said, ho, ho, ho to myself at the end. And I was carrying like an F ton of groceries. I finished getting my last few Christmas gifts. Overall, I'm exhausted. I'm so excited to walk into my house now. I literally am in the, the driveway. I just pulled in. It's just... I'm ready to relax and have a Merry Christmas. So I'm finally home for the holidays and I have so much to do. You can see I'm not wearing any makeup. I am so exhausted. I got back earlier today and then I had dinner with my family, brought all of my stuff upstairs, and then I went to the mall. I don't know why I would do that to myself. I was already so tired, but I wanted to go and spend time with my mom and my sister, and I went to the mall, and oh my god, it was a nightmare. Um, but technically, I cut the line at Forever 21, so I'm like a little okay with like what happened today. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna... I got like a few things at the mall today. I really shouldn't have been spending any money. I know I said that I was done Christmas shopping a million times, um, but no, of course not. I'm just gonna keep spending more money, because why not? So I'm just gonna show you guys the three things I bought two for myself one as a gift for my mom she already knows she's getting it um because I asked her if she wanted it and I'm just gonna throw it in her bag and give it to her Christmas day um yeah I have a lot to wrap still I have a whole thing of freshly washed laundry with two more loads coming out um I don't have a washer dryer where I live so I've been waiting to come home to do it so lots of fun um yeah just so much to unpack Christmas yay but I'll show you guys like those three little things and yeah we'll just get to it so I apologize for the mess I am home this is my room at home it's got a lot going on just in general just like a lot of stuff everywhere so I apologize for that but the first thing I got were these leggings from forever 21 they're kind of like that pleathery like latex looking material and i literally love them i used to have a pair like this from tilly's and my butt got too big so they like cracked um so i really love these so they're from their style must-haves collection um but they're really pretty i got them in a size medium so they would fit um they probably are gonna be a little crap i mean yes i'm wearing uggs i'm super comfy i'm home i don't care um so yeah i'm really excited to wear these i think on um Christmas Eve actually so Christmas Eve is the big thing for my family not Christmas Day so super excited about those um really cute they feel really good the inside is like kind of silky smooth too like $18 forever 21 is like half off right now they definitely have a like good fast fashion I know fast fashion isn't sustainable but like it's good when you're in a bind especially because today like I didn't expect to find these and I'm really happy I did found the last ones in my size really happy about these so can't wait to see how those work out so this sweater I got at H&M it's actually not for me this is for my mom um it's really glittery as you can see it's not itchy thank god it's super soft very warm looking yeah I got this for my mom for Christmas from H&M it is $30 I think it was definitely on sale because I don't believe I paid $30 for it but again, just like really cute and nice. Just a simple, elegant holiday sweater to kind of perk up anything. I could honestly wear this with my black leggings um, and have a really cute Christmas Eve look. Just sparkly, nice. Even for like a New Year's Eve, just like 
stay home chillin' sweater, like a nice dinner sweater, like so cute. I wish I could see, show how well it gleamed, but I guess I can get a close up. It's beautiful, it really is. And I got one more thing from H&M that I'm really excited to show you guys. It's another sweater. This one is actually going to be for me. And I kind of have an opinion about this one and the way fashion is headed for 2020. That I'm really excited to show you guys. So this sweater I got for myself. It's kind of just like a cream colored. Oh, it's one of my own hairs. No. And it kind of has that like, not bat wing style, but like a big like dolman type top. Um love it honestly my favorite detail is like this three little button detail sorry my nails are horrible at the top super cute this honestly screams 80s to me and i don't know if anybody else has noticed but puffy sleeves and corset tops are kind of coming back and not that corset tops are 80s but a lot of puffy sleeves are coming back so i definitely think that like 2020 is gonna be a big 80s you know, step back for fashion. So those were just a few little things I bought right before the holidays that I'm super happy about. And I know I say super happy and super excited all the time, but I'm really super happy and excited about life. And so you guys are just gonna have to get used to it. But yeah, so those are my little finds. Like I said, I'm really feeling that 2020 is gonna be a huge step toward 80s fashion for me. I'm seeing a lot of big puffy sleeves and bubble dresses and things of that nature, like big. I'm not hating it. Never been a huge fan of the 80s and like 80s fashion, but like if we can do it differently this time, I think it could be a lot better. Like some of the things with these puff sleeves that I'm seeing, like I don't hate. Um, I am honestly might have to buy one for myself just to try it out for you guys and kind of just see what's going on there. But yeah, that's my little take. I really love that sweater I got. It is kind of like screaming like a big fluffy 80s to me. Honestly, I could wear that with those leggings for Christmas Eve. I honestly might. Um, overall, I think it'd be a really cute outfit. Those leggings will go with anything. That sweater will go with anything. Jeans, like I work in a very casual environment, so I could definitely wear that sweater there. Um, yeah, so that's it. I'm going to go watch Home Alone with my mom and dad, and I'm happy to be home for the holidays it's well needed and i don't have to work on monday which when you're watching this i'm posting this on monday so i didn't have to work today so i'll just be filming all right see you guys soon on another day i'm tired you can see the bags under my eyes we're done